Hey guys, um, today I want to talk a little bit about cutting weight. I, I think I'm actually very good at cutting weight. It's one of my strengths as a lifter. Um, the most I've cut was um, for a local meet last October. I cut from uh, my high point of 227 about a week out down to 181. That 227 was, was bloated with water and sodium, but still um, down to 181. Pretty, pretty enormous cut. And then uh, uh, rehydrated back up to 216. Um, recently, I've been cutting a little bit less, bloating up to around the 210 range, but still, you know, a good 30 pounds of uh, weight loss in about 36 hours. So um, I'm pretty experienced with cutting. I do not recommend doing it. Um, I actually strongly recommend against cutting extreme amounts of weight. Um, I think that A, it's dangerous. B, um, for a lot of people, it's kind of pointless. Um, you know, for me, I've always had very clear goals when I go into a... a a situation where I would be cutting weight. So there was the recently the U.S. Open, a lot of money on the line. Um, for my other meets that I've cut weight, I've been chasing world records, which is something that I very much want to do at some point in my powerlifting career. So I do not recommend extreme weight cuts. I think that regardless of whether you have a 24 or two hour weigh in, um, the right amount of weight to cut is around 5% of your body weight. Um, because that's the amount that you can rehydrate easily and then you can also lose easily without excessive amounts of sweating. Um, really with just a water and sodium load. I find that if you're cutting less than that, you're, you're really giving up body weight to uh, competitors who are cutting weight um, because it's very easy with water and sodium manipulation to lose about 5% of your body weight. So you might as well take advantage of that. Um, but more than that, it gets very stressful. It will probably have some impact on your lifts, could have some impact on your health. So 5% is kind of the number that I recommend. Um, a couple things that I've read, you know, you can find uh, water weight cutting protocols all over the internet. Um, I think the four hour work week has a very popular one. Um, and they all pretty much say the same thing, you know, carbohydrate restriction, um, sodium and water loading um, about a week out and then uh, dropping the sodium a couple days out and then dropping the water a day out um, and then sweating to get down to your target weight. And for the most part, I agree with that. You know, there's not a lot of secrets. Um, unless you, you know, want to get into diuretic use, which again, strongly don't recommend. I've never used diuretics. Uh, they scare me. Um, the potential for, for hurting your body is just um, higher that way. So um, a couple things that I think I do differently or that, you know, I haven't seen mentioned before. I'll write about all this in my Elite FDS article if you prefer to read it. But um, the number one thing I think that I don't see a lot is uh, the importance of being very lean before you start your uh, water cutter before attempting a water cut. Um, you know, the leaner you are, the more muscle you're going to have. Obviously, water is going to hold on to a lot more muscle. I mean, I'm sorry. Muscle is going to hold on to a lot more water than fat. So the more muscle you have, the more water you can lose. Um, in addition to that, um, it's going to be easier to track how your body weight fluctuates the leaner you are because you can see the changes day to day. It makes it easier to keep track of. Um, the other thing is I don't really agree with cutting your carbs that far out. Um, I've tried this before, um, you know, cutting carbs up to two weeks before an event um, for to see what kind of water loss happens. But again, you know, if you're very lean to begin with, it's, it's not going to make that much of a difference. Um, so I prefer to only cut my water when I'm about two or three days out of a meat. I'm sorry, not my water, my carbohydrates, two or three days out of a meat. Um, but before that, I keep my carb intake pretty high. That said, I respond really well to carbs. Um, you know, I don't, I don't feel sluggish on them. I feel like I have more energy. Um, my body seems to look better. Um, and so if you're different, you might have to try something different. Um, and then the third thing is, you, you know, you never really see um, any comments about the effects of your training on water cutting. And I think that's actually something that makes a huge difference um, because for me, when I go into the gym and I get a good pump, even if it's only, you know, a 30 minute super light workout, um, I'm not exactly sure why this happens, but my body just starts flushing water after that. Um, I assume it has something to do with glycogen um, being depleted, but um, I can see huge drops in, in uh, body weight after training. Um, and obviously I'm sweating while I'm training too, so that has some effect, but um, I think using that strategically, um, timing your workouts, um, so that you're taking advantage of that uh, weight fluctuation can be very helpful um, because if you are attempting a big cut, um, all those little things add up. Um, and so you want to be very, very vigilant 
um, to practice everything and time everything very carefully so that you make the cut as easy as possible. Um, this past meet, I did a local meet at, uh, in Austin where I set the, the all-time American record in the squat in the 181-pound weight class. Um, but I, I didn't do that. I, I was kind of lazy with my weight cut, and you know I can make excuses, but um, I was traveling a lot. I had a lot going on that week. The, the truth is um, I should have paid more attention. I was a little overconfident because I've, I've done this cut um, from you know, 200 to 210 to 181 a lot before, and so I figured you know, it wouldn't be a problem, but uh, can't get careless. It's, it's, it's tough stuff. Um, so read the article. Um, ask questions there on the Elite page. I will, uh, the Elite FTS page, I will um, make sure that I answer them. Um, and I hope this helps. I hope it's a little bit of a, a different perspective. But again, don't go after big cuts. 5%, um, very manageable. Um, stick there. If it's your first meet, don't cut weight at all. Um, it's just going to mess with your head. It's not worth it. Um, but once you're in a, you know, fairly experienced competitor, um, that is something that you should, I recommend taking advantage of.